Okay, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're gonna do a little bit different. A couple of days ago I put a post up on my Instagram page asking for some questions to then fuel this video right here which is gonna be my first ever proper Q&A video. I've decided to do something a little different. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys exactly where we're at. This is where we're at, we're at Mount Gillen. And uh, Mount Gillen is a about an hour walk. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna get all the way up to the top, and then I'm gonna come all the way back down. I'm taking a drink bottle, I'm taking the camera, and my questions on my phone. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk up on the way, I'm gonna stop off, and uh, I assume answer these questions along the way. This is doing three things. It's making a video, it's getting me out of the house and doing cardio, and hopefully, hopefully, I might get a little bit of color on my skin. So I'll see you guys on the road. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. Okay guys, we're at the gate. That says Alice Springs Desert Park. That's exactly what this portion of land is. It's part of the Alice Springs Desert Park. And if you come to Alice Springs, you can definitely check it out. It's got all, sort of, all, all sorts of uh, natural, all sorts of uh, native what? Nick Minute. It's got all sorts of native wildlife, reptiles, snakes, spiders, echidnas, and heaps of other stuff. Bird show, it's got eagles, all sorts of stuff. If you come to Alice Springs, definitely check it out. But first question comes from Holly in Christchurch, one of my greatest, oldest friends, and she asks, are we still getting married? Well, I'm still single, so it's still on the cards. Let's continue. Oh, sir. Fancy seeing you guys here. Question number two. What is the most impressive non-quarterback you have reacted to? Well, you know what? You know what? It's not going to be a running back, although it could have been. It's not going to be a wide receiver. It's actually going to be a lineman. And we're going to go with Larry Allen. Did you see that one coming? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Let's continue. Oh, sup? I didn't see that. Next question. The new Star Wars trailer is out. Do you care? Nah, not one bit. Right till I can't no more, I'm gonna take my... Question number four. When's the Lamar Jackson reaction coming? Okay, we'll get into this. I will, I will give you guys a, a detailed response. What I plan on doing, uh, some of you guys may know that I've put up a, a fair few videos lately and not replied to any comments whatsoever. Now that's, that's because I haven't had the time, to be honest, and I've had this idea. Okay, what I want to do, I brought up my first baseball video recently, I brought up my first basketball video recently, and I've also brought out a fair few football videos. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a video or two actually reacting to the top comments. So we're going to grab some names from basketball and baseball. Now I know Lamar Jackson is a, is a football player, but uh, what you can expect from this channel going forward is a mixture. A total mixture. Basketball, baseball, football, rugby, and maybe even a little bit of lacrosse. So with that being said, let's continue. Sorry, I didn't actually answer the question, did I? Lamar Jackson, you can expect that within a month. Question number five. How is the cutting weed and drugs cold turkey going? Let's talk about that at the top. Okay. Next question. Do you like football, as in soccer, and if so, what team do you follow, or what position do you play? Well, as soon as I get these flies out of my face, I'll answer. I actually played soccer for five years, believe it or not. I took a break from rugby. I played rugby from age five to 13. I took a five year break, played soccer, all throughout high school from 13 to 18, just because my mates were playing it. Then after I, I finished high school, I went back to university, 
I started playing rugby again at age 18. At age 19, I moved to Australia and I continued playing rugby. And here we are, I'm 28. So I have played soccer, I do enjoy it. I played striker. So, you know, I used whatever pace I had back then. I was, I was actually pretty fucking quick back then at age 18. You know, there was no stretching, no fitness, no, no injuries, nothing. It was just go, 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 go. You could eat anything, you could drink the night before and still fucking perform. There's no way I'd be able to do that right now. So I have played soccer, I've played five years worth. I do love it, I don't particularly like watching it, although if I was to watch it, the team that I would support would be the Wellington Phoenix in the A-League, down here that covers the Oceania professional teams. So uh, the Wellington Phoenix from New Zealand, the only New Zealand professional team. I played for the Ferrymead Bays back in uh, Christchurch when I did play soccer. They are based in Ferrymead and they're actually quite a successful club. So if I was to go back to Christchurch and play soccer, I'll be going right down to Barlow Park in Ferrymead and seeing what's up. Let's continue. Next question. I've actually lost count, sorry about that. When you started YouTube back in 2010, did you think you'd be where you're at today? I started my YouTube channel back in 2010, but I didn't post my first video until July, uh, sorry, October 2012. And so with that being said, it's, what is it now? It's uh, April. 2013, that's six and a half years. It's been six and a half years since I uploaded my first video. That's, that's pretty crazy to think about. Did I ever think I'd be where I am at today? Well, my first video was a rugby tutorial video. I knew, I knew at that point that if I wasn't gonna play rugby in my personal life, I wanted to you know, remain within the game, have an influence on the game, ha, you know, do my part to try and spread the word of the game. And so, Back in 2012 when I did make my first video, I knew that. You know, I never knew that I was going to delve into any other sports, but I did know that rugby was definitely going to be the running theme throughout this channel. And it's still that way six and a half years later. So I can solemnly say that I am being true to myself. And I hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's continue. Okay. Next question. Have you ever thought about traveling to California? If so, what part? San Francisco? LA? Yes, my friend, I absolutely have. In fact, I did book tickets. I was meant to go there on the 30th of January this year. I was meant to land straight into LA. Direct flight, Brisbane to LA. But I decided to cancel it for personal reasons. So absolutely, I do plan on coming to LA. In fact, uh, I believe I will touch down by the end of this year. San Francisco, definitely on the list. LA is going to be the city that I fly into. And, uh, you know, I, I uh, yeah, I've got some plans. I, I definitely do. So I'll let you know in good time. Let's continue. All right, next question. Simple question, not so simple answer. Why did you move back to Alice Springs? Well, it's not a simple answer, but I will give you a simple answer, which is finances, money. I completely ran myself into the ground financially over in Cairns, trying to chase my daughter, trying to move my life from state to state. In the end, it didn't come crashing down. I stopped it before it did, but now I'm back in Alice Springs to live a life with the least amount of extra expenses as possible so I can really build up another buffer to you know, contain some of my debts that I've got at the moment and Make a plan. Make another plan. I've had to move away from my daughter, which upsets me. The relationship between me and the mother is absolutely fucked. But we can only go up from here. Much like the metaphor of climbing a mountain, we can only go up from here. And I believe that. So stay tuned, come along for the ride, but let's continue. All right, next question. When do you think you'll be able to do videos of you doing drills in pads, lowers, which I assume is uh, football pants, helmet, etc. When do you think you'll be able to do drills with, with gear on, football gear? <sighs> I appreciate you still asking that, I really do. I, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I really thought it would have happened by now. Um, I'll tell you what, if, if someone did provide me with that right now, I, that's one of the things that I want to do the most in this world is to try is to you know actually run around in a fucking football field. 
show what I'm worth. See if I can move with all that gear on, you know? It's, it's, it's definitely on my mind. I think about it every day, so it's gonna happen. What was the question? When do you think you'll be able to do it? Send me some pads, bruh. Let's continue. Next question. Who is the best athletic specimen you've seen so far in the NFL? Now I'm gonna need a couple of minutes to think about that. I'll tell you what, the first person that comes to mind when you say athletic specimen, but he hasn't played in the NFL, is DK Metcalf. I mean, I just cannot get that guy's fucking physique out of my mind. It is insane. I have never seen a guy power through his 40 yard dash like that with a physique like that, it is just absolutely insane. He's only gonna get better, bar injury, touch wood. And uh, you know, I, I'd have to say so far, he would be the one that sticks in my mind. But as far as NFL players, the best athletic specimen. <clears throat> you know what? We're gonna go Larry Allen again. Why not? I'd be contradicting myself if I said anyone else. Let's continue. Next question. Did you ever decide on favorite football teams, NFL and college? <sighs> you guys are trying to trick me, aren't you? That's a trick question. That is a trick question. Every time I've, I've, <laughs> every time I've supported a player, it seems they go and do something wrong or get a fucking criminal charge. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna say anything, but I will say, I do love the color red. So we're gonna go Ohio State for college, and we're gonna go the Chiefs for the NFL. Let's continue. That's if I had to say someone. You guys know I really don't have a favorite. Next question. Who will win the Rugby World Cup in Japan this year? The All Blacks, mate. It's time for a three-peat. All right, oh, this is an interesting one. Something I don't really think about too often. What is my favorite genre of music? and a couple of my favorite artists. Whenever anyone asks me this, I always say all sorts. That's my answer, all sorts, because I, I honestly, I could not name my favorite artists. I mean, the only time I really do listen to music is in the gym or in the car. But what I, I do love, like my old school bands like Queen, Credence Clearwater Revival, you've got ACDC, Led Zeppelin, you've got Eric Clapton, I mean, all of it, like Neil Diamond, all of that shit that I grew up with from my parents, I really love. As far as new stuff, anything different, man. Anything different. Um, anything, you know, I, I, I don't know. I still love, my, I still love my, uh, my rap and stuff that I got into at high school. You know, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Fat Joe. You've got The Game, um, Tupac. There's plenty. As far as rock. I do love rock music in the gym. I don't know any band names as far as rap. I mean, I love Drake. I love like that kind of music. Um, T-Pain, I used to absolutely love back in the day just because it was different because of the auto-tune. Um, Justin Timberlake's got an amazing voice. I used to love boy bands back in the day. You know, I, I, I really love everything. I do. I love music, but I don't listen to it enough. That's probably my issue. But uh, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Let's continue. And yes, yes, I do have to pick up the camera every single time. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Uh, also, Bon Jovi and the Eagles. Two absolutely amazing bands. It's feel-good music, guys. That's what it is. I'm good. It's getting a little bit hard, though. Next question. Want to come to Germany one day? Absolutely, mate. Okay, next question. How to start gymming after gyno surgery? I have a six week layoff. Okay, so you guys will know, some of you will know. <sighs> gyno, gynecomastia, you know, was, was a, a part of my life, it really was. It was part of my identity and for me to have had the surgery and not have worried about it ever since is fucking amazing. So. To anyone getting inspiration from my gyno videos, I want to say go for it. 
you know, I've, I've, ha I've literally had hundreds, if not like at least a thousand messages from people going through the same thing, basically telling me, you know, thanks for the support. Um, thanks for showing my recovery, even though it was shit. You know, it was hard at the time, but now looking back on it, I'm glad I did. The question was, how to start gymming after gyno surgery. He's had six weeks off. I don't know what, how his recovery's been. I know personally that it doesn't matter how good your recovery is, you're not going to feel like it's safe to work out for at least two to four weeks. Um, you know, you've, you've had something cut out of your, your chest and you're going to go and pump it up with blood? No, of course you're not. So I would say six weeks is a good, good time. I actually put up my first workout after the surgery, after five weeks. I put it on, the, um, I put it on my YouTube channel and it was just a quick chest, shoulder and tricep workout. Uh, no huge movements, it was basically just you know, partial reps, just to feel the muscle, see how it was healed, and from there I was back into the gym. So six weeks is a good, good amount of time, I'd say, you know, know that you're gonna have lost strength and size, go back in just to feel the muscle, just to stimulate it, don't annihilate it, and, and slowly get back into your workout routine. Let's continue. What was your favorite video game in your childhood? Too easy! Jonah Lomu Rugby! Next question. Do you have a main aspiration in life? A biggest goal? Well, I, I don't want to sound shallow, guys, because money's not everything. I used to think it was, but I certainly know that it's not now. Do I have a big aspiration in life? I want to leave a mark. I want to leave some sort of mark. I want... I want my, my daughter and now my two daughters to be proud of me as a father. I want to provide them and myself and my immediate family and friends with a life of abundance through having financial freedom. Life is not all about money. Money will not make you happy. But it certainly allows you to do certain things that, that may make you happy. Such as travel. Such as giving. Being generous. Being, you know, providing. It may allow me to work a job that I actually enjoy and want to do, rather than be forced to work a job that I hate. That's what it's about. It's about building a life where I am at peace, financially, emotionally, mentally, and physically. And for me to be at peace physically, I need to be training on a daily basis. That also includes my mental health emotional health and everything in between so I want to be a man that my daughters are proud of that's what it is let's continue oh jeez why did I sign up for this next question you're gonna watch the NHL playoffs this year if so who are you rooting for I will not be watching the NHL playoffs I don't have time, but if I was going to go for someone, it would have to be the Red Wings. I love their uniform. <sighs> Secondly, I'm going to go for the only teams I know. So we've got the Oregon Ducks. No, that's not. No, that's football. We've got the Pittsburgh Penguins. We've got the Boston Bruins. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, let me think. That's a terrible effort. NHL team. Boston Bruins. Montreal. Ontario. I just don't know the team names. And I'll be honest with you, man. I haven't played NHL on, on PS4 since that time I, I made the video about it. So, that's on me, man. That's on me taking on too many fucking things. There's only 24 hours in a day. I did love that game, I really enjoyed it actually, it was quite fun. So I will get back to it. But as far as my favourite team, I'd have to say the Red Wings. Why not? Alright, next question. Everything good with the fam? Yeah, yeah it is actually, I'm living with my mum and my sister right now, it's, it's, it's pretty good. As far as the other side, I told you guys earlier in this video. Next question, we'll do two. Do you know who Sidney Crosby is? No, I have no fucking idea. Should I? Let's continue. Oh, okay. Now we're getting into the really pretty amazing scenery behind me. Okay. All we're going to do is get higher from here. So 
That's pretty cool. Next question. Whoo! Gotta get my breath back. In through the nose, out through the mouth. That's what you used to tell me at rugby practice. All right. Favorite thing to do in my spare time, apart from spend time with my daughter? Well, I can be very practical with that answer because my daughter's not here right now. So my favorite thing to do in my spare time right now is to network within my clothing brand. Network with people, network with businesses, look for opportunities to collaborate, things like that. I spend a lot of time on Instagram, not, not being a consumer, but actually, you know, trying to, trying to, I don't know, trying to spread the word. You know, MKP, Major Key Physiques, um, I have read a few comments lately that's, that said, you know, some pretty negative things. <laughs> um, all I can do is smile and keep doing what I'm doing. The thing I do want you guys to know is that Major Key Physiques as a brand and as a business was created late 2017. My YouTube channel, I, I didn't put up a, a football related video until June 2018. So that means that six months before I actually introduced my audience to, to American football and got that huge influx of subscribers, I had already decided to start this brand. It is something completely separate from my YouTube channel. Yes, I collaborate. Yes, I promote MKP on my YouTube channel. But as far as a business and brand, it's not, it's not me, man. It's not me. I'm separate. I'm the owner. I'm not even a sponsored athlete. We have sponsored athletes, which is pretty sweet. And we're only going to grow from here. So if you do want to support, you know, and the one thing I want to say is that Major Key Physiques was an opportunity. It's, just, it's, a, it's an opportunity. If you guys wanted to support me, my family, and the YouTube channel, this was an opportunity for you guys to actually purchase something tangible, something you could keep, something you could feel a part of, and also support me financially. Now, there was times back when, back when the, the, the YouTube channel exploded in June, July last year that people were saying, make a Patreon, make a, uh, a GoFundMe, you know, and I don't know how many thousands of dollars I would have got donated, but I, I always knew that the only way I was going to accept financial help was to provide you with a product back. So MKP was my opportunity to do that. Now, some of you have come through the site and ordered, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's really amazing. But like I said at the start, it is a completely separate entity to this YouTube channel. You will see Major Key Physiques advertised. It's going to be completely up to you to buy it. I believe in the product. I believe that we have superior quality as far as fabric blends. Um, the, the workout accessories, I think you'll struggle to find anything, you know, better. I feel like we're, we're definitely matching the best quality workout accessories in the market. And we're also matching the price. So with that being said, let's continue. Major Key Physiques is definitely the thing that I like putting my time into, putting my spare time into, as well as making YouTube videos, as well as socialising, as well as going out to eat. I like watching movies. I like watching documentaries. I love watching the UFC. And UFC 236 was just on last weekend and I watched it. So, you know, I, 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 I love sport. I don't know. Take from that what you will, guys. I think I just rambled about five or 10 minutes. Look, I'm gonna stop it there. This is gonna be part one of the YouTube subscriber Q&A. And, &A. and uh, part two is gonna continue at the top of this hill. So stay tuned, we're about halfway through the questions. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to put the camera away for about half an hour, get myself up the top and continue and show you guys what it's like up there. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you have enjoyed the Q&A. I hope, you know, I've uh, given you a little bit more of an insight into my personal life, which, you know, I do anyway on this channel. But yeah, best wishes to all you guys out there in whatever you're doing, whatever ventures, whatever goals. I hope you're kicking them. I am, slowly but surely. I'm back in Alice Springs. I am. I'm away from my daughter, but I, I, I know what I need to do. And uh, that's a good feeling, you know, to have some direction. Um, so yeah, these flies are absolutely ridiculous, it's that time of year and uh, I'm going to stop rambling and get my ass up to the top of this fucking mountain. So I'll see you there guys, have a great day, peace out.